what is going on guys i'm back in with another video and if you have a desk setup more likely than not that you probably already have the essentials uh, the monitor the keyboard the mouse but speakers now are becoming a trend in that not everybody likes to use headphones so in today's video i'm going to be taking a look at the fifi 820 speakers uh, speakers are supposed to make your setup complete they're a good pair of speakers there's some things i like and a couple things i dislike but before i get into that just make sure you subscribe just so you can stay tuned for more videos like this and other tech reviews in the future so with these speakers they're a great pair of speakers um and starting off straight off the bat, when it comes to the build quality. Now, this is the first thing I didn't like about these speakers. Uh, the build quality, whenever I feel, whatever tech product I'm reviewing, if you feel like it's made out of uh, plastic, then it's something that is cause for concern because in worst case scenario, if you drop it, if something happens to it, then it really doesn't give uh, the most confidence that these are going to be safe and still functioning the same way afterwards you might drop them and that'll be the last time uh, that they ever work so in terms of the build quality that is something you have to watch out for and after that the speaker has just three buttons except one is touch capacitive so i guess that also comes as a button but you will have the volume markers in one uh, speaker and then you're also going to have the power button uh, the power button is two functionalities of course you can turn it on and then a quick press is going to mute the speaker and then uh, a quick press again it will unmute it hold it for three seconds that's how you turn it on and off and the buttons they're a little clicky you know uh, they're not like the best quality type buttons but i didn't notice any like lag or delay or anything that really uh made me question the quality and uh the build quality of uh just how the buttons work now the thing that stands out the most obviously about these speakers is going to be the rgb lighting rgb lighting uh, if you've been following me for a while now you know what i always say about rgb is it good looking yes do they add to uh, the ambience yes does it make the product stand out yes but at the end of the day rgb that's literally all it's intended for just to look cool look nice and uh, make your setup stand out or your, your product look, look much nicer and neater but it really honestly doesn't add to the quality at all. It really doesn't make the device better, doesn't make the quality better, and it nowhere does it improve uh, the performance uh, of uh, the device. So at the end of the day, when it comes to RGB, it's just a personal preference thing. If you like that sort of thing, if you like colors, if you like things that stand out, then that's your thing, then you go for RGB, but Honestly, it really does add to the performance or the quality of uh, the headphones. Now, these speakers too, they're not a heavy pair of speakers, uh, which uh, if you have a delicate surface, then you don't have to worry about any scratches or anything that's really going to mess it up. It also has the rubber stoppers at the bottom. So the quality is it's, it's good, but I just am not a fan of uh, the bell quality because any time it's plastic, it's always cause for concern. Now, the one other thing I didn't like is uh, the cable management. So there's a couple cables on there. There's USB-A, then there's the aux, which you can uh, use to plug, I guess, in two different ways, which is good, right? But it's just uh, the cables feel a little tangly for me. And at the end of the day, I guess, um, beggars can't be choosers. So you, it's not really anything that's going to uh, take away from the speakers and that the quality gets worse or anything. It's just a personal preference thing, right? Like I really don't like a cable management like this. I like things when they're simpler, I like things when they just flow, flow smoothly. You know, this, the, the, the cable's just uh, not, not, not my cup of tea. So as with any other pair of speakers, the most important thing is always going to be the audio quality. No, you don't even have to be an audiophile. Uh, to find that obvious but with these speakers the one thing i noticed straight off the bat is the bass is lacking right but it's also a thought experiment if you really think about it because these speakers it's not designed for something that's supposed to be used outdoors it's not designed for a uh, social gathering this is just a simple pair of speakers it's designed for your desktop setup and if you really think about it that way then you don't really need anything that's going to be blaring or blasting audio as loud as possible because it's just intended for your desk setup right like if you're an editor and you want to work on some audio and you want to listen to different tones and pitches 
and this is what this is intended for. Or maybe you're just working on your computer and you wanted to play some background audio a podcast or maybe even an audiobook. And this is what it's intended for. It's not intended for large gatherings or even intended for uh, big gatherings or social gatherings. This is just literally intended just to be used as a deck setup. Now, that doesn't mean the audio doesn't get loud. I tested these and the audio definitely does get loud. And it sounds way better than the audio when it was coming from my computer. When it came to the bass, the bass is uh, definitely not intended for anything like that. And you can hear it immediately as you use uh, the speakers, right? So with these speakers, they definitely make a good desktop uh, setup essential, right? Now, the build quality is not my favorite thing. Of course, I don't like the cable management, but the touch capacitor button is pretty cool. It's nice and simple. You can just transition between the RGB lighting. Uh, there's a few different modes you can pick between, and you can just choose how you want the colors your preference. But at the end of the day, when it comes to the audio, which again is the most important thing. It's not going to be one that blows you out of the water, but it's going to be one that does a good enough job as a desktop setup. It's nothing crazy, but it's a good addition to a desktop setup. If you're looking to get these speakers, then I definitely recommend them just for that purpose. But if you're thinking they're going to be something much more than that, then maybe these aren't the ones for you. But this is just my opinion. Let me know what you think. If you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe just so you stay tuned for more videos like this. I'm your leader. And I'm out.